Paul Taco. Okay, here we go. How about the lies about Jesus being homeless? Jesus wasn't homeless. Mary and Joseph were on their way to pay taxes and the census when Mary gave birth. Uh, they lived in Nazareth. And, okay, look, I make I made my point. Do I have to keep hammering the same thing? 855-407-282. He wants the abolition of the death penalty. Why is it that those fascists who chop up babies and sell the body parts for a profit are in love with the murderers and the rapists on death row? Can anyone explain that to me? Can anyone please explain that to me, the insanity of it? When is he going back? Stampede kills more than 700 at Hajj pilgrimage near Mecca. Crushed while stoning a devil. Stampede kills more than 700 at Hajj pilgrimage near Mecca. Crushed while stoning the devil. Who was the devil? I, I want to see the picture of the devil that they used in the Hajj. I want to see the picture of the devil. I pray to God it wasn't a... A few miles east of Mecca, arriving near the recruiting on the way to performing the stoning of the devil ritual at Jamarat. Who is the devil to them? Who is the devil to Muslims? That's a horrible set of pictures there. That's awful. I mean, you don't wish this on, on your worst enemy. Four million Muslims visit Mecca every year, including the clock boy. The clock boy from Texas is on the way to Mecca. Obama, I think, sent him a one-way a two, a two ticket. The pilgrimage is one of the five pillars of Islam, which every adult Muslim must undertake at least once in his life. It lasts for five days. So that's sad, really. Mecca, Saudi Arabia, the holiest place in Islam. Three million people. The Grand Mosque at the center of Mecca, where pilgrims gather to pray and circle the cubic Kaaba, can hold more than one and a half million people. And what happens during the Hajj? Pilgrims must walk seven times around the Kaaba, the cube-shaped building, at the center of the Grand Mosque, pray at nearby Mount Arafat, <laughs> and ritually stone the devil by hurling pebbles at three walls. Well, what does the devil look like? I, I'd like to see it finally. What does the devil look like, Robert? Have you ever met the devil? According to the Saudi Civil Defense Director, the crowd became dangerously congested at the intersection of two streets as the faithful Muslims were making their way towards the Jamarat Bridge, which overlooks the stone columns where pebbles are cast, the bridge's purpose is specifically to ease the pressure of the crowds. You know, it's probably one of the worst ways to die is getting crushed to death. Phew. Amateur video shared on social media showed corpses lying amid crushed wheelchairs used by some disabled pilgrims. All right, look, there's no ju joke here. There's not to be laughed at, but this is terrible. I mean, less than two weeks ago, if you remember, a giant construction crane came crashing down on the Grand Mosque in Mecca. A hundred people were killed. There's a lot of money in this, too. It's not good for business. Each year, pilgrims pay hundreds of thousands of uh, dollars to go on their religious trip. People spend between five, dollars $7,000 for a typical pilgrimage. More than 25,000 Britons go annually for the Hajj. Hmm, how do you like that? Which countries have the largest number of Hajj pilgrims? Let's take a look. Indonesia, wow. Number one, Paki. Stan, number two, India, number three, Bangladesh, three, Nigeria, Egypt, Iran, Turkey, Algeria, Morocco. I wonder how many Americans go on a Hajj. Are they on a watch list if they're the most? No, I can't even ask that question, huh? No. Just religious. Just religious freedom. You know, it's 12 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever. I don't even know the time anymore. I'm deliriously dizzy from what's going on in my country. Every day we get pushed around was bad enough with the thin one. Now we got this one to put up. What, is he gonna, at least he goes back. That's it, I think that's it for our lifetime now. We never have to put up with this again. So here's one that I haven't read for you yet. Woman asks white friends to pay for her therapy to deal with stress from racism. I'm not making it up. National Review, Catherine Timpf. A 29 year old Thai Cambodian woman has launched a fundraiser asking her white friends to pay for her therapy, claiming that they owe it to her because stress caused by racism is why she needs it in the first place. Wow, she learned fast. Remember I told you for years they come over here and the ACLU is waiting for them and they teach them, me immigrant, you racist, I sue ACLU. Well, here it is. 
Rena Rem is from the Portland, Oregon area and suffers from a chronic illness that affects the heart and connective tissues called Marfan syndrome. So she said the condition is much worse for her because of all the racism. She says, the stress of living as a Thai Cambodian woman in such a white city, replete with constant interpersonal institutional racism, has a big toll on my health and well-being. And so she wants her white friends to pay for her therapy. And she wants you to pay up for this. Robert, are you sending her a hundred bucks? No. Why doesn't she go back to Indonesia and see if she can get some help? Let's see how they treat her for racism in Thailand or Cambodia. Savage Nation, back in a minute. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust to protect my wealth. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. Oh. Oh. In recent centuries, millions of people came to this land the to pursue their dream of building a right, future. Right, so thank you. Food. God bless you. Thank you. You're a nice man. But why don't you go lecture the Chinese about immigration? Do me a favor. Go and lecture those in China about immigration. See how many they take in a year. Or why don't you go le lecture the Saudis about immigration? See how many Christians they allow to practice Christianity in Saudi Arabia. So, you know, look, there's nothing new under the sun. Hypocrisy has been around a very long time and it isn't going to go away. We've seen it with Pelosi, we've seen it with all of those in Congress, the millionaires and billionaires who tell us that we don't do enough for the poor. We've seen it with Obama, the biggest hypocrite on the planet, flies around spewing pollutants from his jets and bu bulletproof limousines, hangs around with billionaires and trillionaires in Martha's Vineyard and then tells you that he cares about the immigrants because there's money in the immigrant racket. It's a big business. There's more money in the immigrant racket than there is in the green racket. There's no need to be in organized crime anymore. It's safer now to be in the immigration or green rackets. More money than in drugs, gambling, prostitution put together, according to sources that I've read. All in government zero. Warning. The Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. Yeah, 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 you're all so wild. Right, 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 right. All right, turn it off. Bunch of garbage like all of the guys in Hollywood who play the tough guys and the outlaws. All the outlaws. So here we are with the real outlaws in the White House. And finally he finds a pope who espouses the same left-wing dogma that your poor children have had to put up with their whole lives in school. And here we see a Congress filled with atheists America haters getting on their hands and knees and worshiping uh, the Pope because he doesn't espouse much of the church. There's not much church in what he said, and we've talked about it for two straight hours on the show. And I've supported my argument with facts. The facts coming from my book, Government Zero, with footnotes and references showing you that his encyclical in particular on the environment came from a radical. I gave you the radical's name. He's a worshiper of Gaia, doesn't even believe in God. And the Pope is just mouthing what's written for him on these issues. He's an old man who has been taken in by the left. And frankly, it was an insult for him to come to Congress. But I expect nothing less from the Marxist in the White House. And supporting my position that he is a very left-wing Pope is none other than the Rumpelstiltskin of politics, Bernie Sanders, who was an avowed socialist. Now, when you have a socialist like Bernie Sanders, the Rumpelstiltskin of the, of the uh, campaign, saying that the Pope, well, listen to what he said in clip 18. I think what the Pope has done, which is really extraordinary, he is reaching out not just to the Catholic Church. He's reaching out to people all over the world and with an incredibly strong message of social justice, Here of we talking go. about the grotesque levels of wealth and income inequality that exists all over the world. You jealous loser, you. The dispossessed. 
the elderly people who are living alone, the young people who can't find jobs. And he is saying that as a planet, as a people, we have got to do better. That money and the accumulation of money and the worship of money is not what life should be about. That we cannot turn our backs on our fellow human beings. Yeah, yeah. you got a, a recent fundraising request from uh, Sanders, the, the saint? Now, in the next clip, 19, he admits that the Pope, like he has a socialist agenda. Listen to 19. I'm not surprised because he has a very, very progressive agenda. He is looking in the eyes of the wealthiest people. All right, turn in it this off. So that's it. End the story. Rumpelstiltskin admits that he and the Pope are socialists. What more do I have to say to you? Comes here and attacks our way of life, our economic system, lectures us on how evil we are, how dirty we are, how we're ruining the world. What do you want me to say? He's a politician, not a religious leader. Tells us to take in more immigrants. The Vatican has a wall around it that would make medieval castles put to sh put put medieval castles to shame. We take in more immigrants than the rest of the world combined, Mr. Pope. Can't get a Vatican citizenship, by the way. So, what do you want me to say? BAP, Noe, welcome to the Savage Nation. Go ahead, please. What's on your mind? You're totally wrong, sir. Totally wrong. All right, please, look, if you want to have a dialogue, show me where I'm wrong and let's discuss it. Go ahead. Well, first of all, you're probably going to cut me off, not like the other guy you get. Sir, look, if you have nothing to say and you just want to uh, espouse, let go of hot air, I suggest you call a gastroenterologist. This is my issue. Show me, show me where any word that I have spoken today is false ask you a quick question no no don't ask me a question don't play talmudic rabbi with me show you said that i'm completely false about the pope please explain what i have said that is false do you believe in god i said show me no i'm not answering you you're nobody i asked you a question you said everything i said about the pope is false explain to the audience listening to your great wisdom one word i have said that is false I have no reason to argue because if you do not believe in God, you could say... Oh, so in other words, you're full of crap. In plain English, you don't know what you're talking about. If you don't believe the word of God, then I don't have any reason... Well, to what do you know about God? What, because God knows about the environment? What are you asking me if I believe in God? I'm telling you the Pope is espousing socialism. Everything he said is a pack of lies. Do you believe the word of God? The Bible. Oh, okay, yes, I believe in the word of God. Now, now... Now let's play 20 questions. Did you hear one word I said for the last two hours? I did, obviously. I, I did, but not, not all. All right, hold on. Good. I'm glad you did. Now, since I've told you that I'm a God-fearing man, which if you listen to the show over the 21 years I've been on the air, you would know that without having to ask it. Please address the question. State one fact that I espoused on this show that is false. The only reason I've called you is to tell you that you're wrong, and there's a spirit of division. I asked you what I'm wrong about. You're sounding stupider by the minute. I'm not. You might call me stupid, but if you don't believe... Take a walk. Take a walk. I, I don't want to... I'm not going to put up with idiots. I, how many minutes did I just give him of national airtime? Five minutes? Four. I gave him four minutes. Do you know what advertisers pay for those four minutes? For this, this, this loser from Somewhereville, USA? Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Anyone else want to take me on right now? Regina, WJR, welcome to the Savage Nation. Go ahead, please. Oh, hi, Michael. It's so good to speak with you. My mother was a huge fan, and she was 91 when she died, very meek, very devout Catholic, and she heard truth coming from you. And I, I, I carry. And, and if you've listened to my show, and as your mother listened to my show, how often over my 21 year career have I picked up my Bible with all of these post its and have quoted the Bible chapter and verse more so than anyone in the history of the, of the electronic media other than religious broadcasters? I, Michael Savage, know the Bible. I read the Bible. I quote the Bible. I also know liars and phonies and hypocrites. You. I agree with you. I'm a devout Catholic myself, and um, I love my faith, and I love my faith first. I love my God first, and then I love my faith. And when uh, there's something that the Catholic Church teaches that has actually carried the Church over 2,000 years through some dark times. It's called the sense of the faithful, the sensei fidelium. 
And uh, it saw us through a lot of bad stuff. And one thing that I find very striking about what's happening, this phenomenon with this Pope, there's so many people that were anti-Catholic, anti-Pope, anti the riches of the Church, anti the abuse scandal. They were anti-everything that, 